I'm a lot of men. What's up? Hello? Hey. Hi, how you doing? Hope y'all well. <laughs> What's good? Hello. Hi. How you doing today? Dev? One of, my, one of my roommates just joined. Why did you join my live? You live with me. Come say hi. Don't be shy. <laughs> what up, y'all? Saturday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be answering some um, questions that you guys asked me on Patreon. Um, I've got a series of questions. I actually printed these out myself. And, um, yeah, I just want to talk to y'all because... Shit, you know, it's been a while, and I miss y'all, and I, and I want to go live because I've been quite the busy man, and, man, I got to I gotta get back to my roots. I got to see how y'all doing. I love you, little too, man. Presley, what up, dude? Why'd you leave? Bro was here like an hour ago and left. So sad. It's tragic. All right, but I, uh, if you guys want to check out my Patreon, I have the link in my Instagram bio, um, patreon.com slash howdy. If you want to check it out, um, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that people ask me on there about like literally like 100 questions that I printed out. So this should be, uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> um, the first question was asked by a girl named Shay. And she said, do you get any, did you regret getting any of your tattoos? And I want to say no, because a lot of what people do is a lot of people get fuck it tattoos, but I get fuck it tattoos with a purpose behind them. Sometimes like some of my fucking tattoos, this is one of my fucking tattoos. This is a fucking tattoo right here. My, um, my high five ghost. I got it in Miami. Um, it was me and Baron's birthday. We were celebrating on vacation. And a tattoo artist hit us up while we were there. And so I, yeah, I got that tattoo. But I think fucking tattoos are fun because then you can relate it to the time and place and the people where you were with. So, but the rest of mine have like full-blown stories like behind them or like meanings. So that's, that's one of the things I like to do with tattoos. Um, but yeah. Um... Hannah asked me, what's your favorite holiday? And I want to say, I want to say it's Christmas or Halloween. Halloween's always fun as hell. But after it, after like Halloween's over, LA is kind of like, like boring for a while. You know, November's a really like sad month. So is December, but like Halloween week's like the most crazy week of the year. And um, Christmas is fun because I love my family. So I would probably, I'd probably say Christmas, cause I love my fam bam. <laughs> um, Mia asked me, "What is your favorite music genre?" Um, I have a few, and it's between rap or, I mean, punk rock for sure. Those are like the two genres I, I grew up on and like the two genres I'm still like the most into today actively. Like when, when any rap artist drops, I'm there. When any punk artist drops, I'm there. And I like to take little notes, you know? See see what everybody else is doing. Um, how y'all doing, y'all good? It's actually been so long since I've been live, so I mean, I want I want to see how y'all how y'all feeling, man. I want to ask you if you guys are if are y'all fucking with addicted to you? Because I put out that song as like a, for a couple teasers, and I'm starting to finish it up a little bit. I want to I want to know your guys' thoughts on like the progression of the song and um, if you fuck with it in general. Lil Huddy, there's a demon behind you. Is it him? Are you the demon? 
Dylan, come back. You've already been you've been gone for like an hour or two hours, and I already, I already miss you. <laughs> um, Brittany asked me, when are you gonna start touring? And I don't know if I have an answer to that question yet, because I've been waiting for like the correct moment to tour. Um, so. Hopefully that moment soon, but I really want to tour this year. It's like one of my biggest dreams is, is just getting out there on the road and actually experiencing it for the first time. And then everything after that will be get easier and easier, you know? Once you, um, once you do your first tour, I feel like I'll get the nerves out of the way. And um, just hopefully that's, that's coming up. Coming up soon, man. Um... Another question Mia asks is, will you get a cat soon? Um, I've thought about it. Um, fun fact, I was going to get a dog, and there's two dogs born on Christmas Day. And I was really excited, right? Week into um, the dog being born, one of them passed away. And I'm second in line to get this dog. And the second dog that they had of that dog, the person in front of me was like, yeah, I want it. I'll take it. It's cool. And now I'm like, fuck. So don't know if I want a dog. I saw a cat when I, when I shot my snake video, I actually, I couldn't introduce you my snakes, but when I shot my snake video, he had a little baby cat and he's like, do you want it? I'm like, bro, I'm like, don't, don't say that to me right now. I'll, I'll fucking take this cute ass cat. It is a small little gray cat cutest shit in the world but um i didn't end up end up taking it. it it took like great like pain inside of my body to say no to that to getting that cat it was so fucking cute bro it's a little gray cat but he was like oh yeah it's gonna be like 20 pounds it can be his size and this cat was fucking huge i was like mm, i don't know how bad, bad i want a big cat but you know that cat with the little kitten so fucking cute, so, um, yeah, R.I.P. to my Christmas miracle dog, (laughs) and, um, yeah, maybe I'll get a dog in the future, but I I did the thing, I was like, what are you gonna do in 22, and and I landed on get a dog and get a cat, so, right now, I'm, like, figuring it all out, so, we'll see, one day, I'm gonna go to another page, because I have dead ass so many questions, Um, you like my hair? It's cool. It's cool hair. I like the length right now. It's like not too long. But it's also like still kind of short in the back. But we'll see, man. I might do- I haven't been alive in a minute. Mm, crazy shit with my hair in the future. But we'll see. Um, um, Ella asked me, who is your favorite Harry Potter character? Um, uh, who is my favorite? Oh, I think Bellatrix is my favorite Harry Potter character. She's just, she has the most swag. She can scream like the way she like screams and laughs and shit is so like dope. I don't know. There's something about her character, like the way they did her hair. They just made her look so badass. And um, so I would probably see Bellatrix, my favorite Harry Potter character for sure. Um, if you could only watch one show for the rest of your life, what would it be? Emma asked me. Um. If I could watch one show for the rest of my life, it would probably be Adventure Time, just because they're deep into their seasons. And I've watched Adventure Time so many times through, but I've fallen asleep through a lot of the episodes. So every time I wake up, it'll be a new episode I hadn't seen. Or, um, you know, there's just so many seasons, you know? So I, there's a lot to like look through. And it's a really dope show, actually. So... Grew up on that bitch. 
Regular Show and Adventure Time are like my two, my two shows that I uh, liked. Cartoon Network was like the shit when I was a kid. Uh, Mia asked me, do you consider yourself a fun person? Question mark. In quotations, you are. (laughs) I, I guess I would consider myself a fun person. I feel like I'm fun at times. I can be like really boring, you know, at times, but I'm, I have my moments for sure. I can be a quiet little cat though. It just kind of depends on my mood. I have to like, my body's got to be feeling right. I got to like eat a crazy meal and then... I'll be starting my my night off right, but if I'm like, oh, I like my stomach, or oh, I like my head hurts, or you know, then I'm lame. Or if I'm tired of shit, which I always am, so that that that's a variant as well. It sucks. Um. Um. What song means the most to you that you've released so far? Lay asks. Um, the song means the most to me. I would probably say. Uh, I would probably say Party Crasher. I I made Party Crasher around the same time I made my first three singles, but I held on to it the longest, so it made me so fucking excited to actually release it and the fact that i convinced my label to release it right before the album i'm like this has to be the single it's gotta drop right before like we gotta do this 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 party crash i think it'd be really cool and the music video came out great i created a dope friendship with mooch through making that music video process um brought a lot of cool friends and i feel like it's the most iconic i include a lot of my friends so it's cool to be like, to like watch it again. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, that moment where you did that was so funny. Like there was a, a moment where Bev, in the beginning of the music video, he was, he was like, he was dancing and he was doing some cool shit with his legs. And it looks so hard on the video. Um, and so we were laughing about that the other day. I'd probably say Party Crasher though, because um, I love it. And I feel like it's the most fun song that I've released too. Chase, do you like Adele? Hell yeah, I like Adele. Who doesn't like Adele? Adele's the shit. Um, so if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm answering questions that uh, you guys asked me on Patreon. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, um, I've been, I've been uh, posting like weekly content there. I'm using it as like my place for personal content that's outside of music and leaving YouTube for music related content i guess so if you guys want to um go on there and like ask me questions i can come back um around to them around the next live stream but uh, i've got a bunch right now that a bunch of people different people ask me um americus asked me what made you decide to get snakes Let, let me tell you guys my mom my fucking mom my mom hated snakes so much would never let me get a snake my dad had reptiles tarantulas cockroaches fucking guinea pigs bunnies dogs cats rats literal rats we had baby rats we had baby bunnies it, we had so many animals and i was like why don't we have a snake snakes are so cool it's because my dad had a snake and it was fucking huge like he had a huge snake and it escaped his cage and he said, I, I'm not sure how the story goes, but I think his mom found it and flipped the hell out. But it's just proof that it's, you know, it could happen. So, and it's smart. You know, the snakes are smart. I've had one of my snakes escape because they pushed the little lever I put inside of uh, their cage to close it. They pushed it up and then opened the, the cage by themselves. Don't know how. And escaped. And I found it. And I was like, How? How, how did you outsmart me? Like, what? what? Um, so I got snakes because my mom wouldn't let me get any. So I was like, why? Why won't you let me get snakes? And now I have five of them. So 
it's always it's always fun. But they're small. They're cute. You know, I want to raise them from when they're like sm- small children, because then they can be like my kid when they're older and they're like a little bit longer. And you know, but I love snakes. They're they're like one of my favorite animals. Same with like reptiles. I have two lizards and uh, five snakes. So <laughs> that's my that's my animals. I got two new snakes for all the people that that don't know. Uh, I showed people on like a Patreon live stream, but I want to show you them now. Y'all them now. This is my one of my new snakes. His name is Phoenix, but he's so cool. He's a freeway snake. See how he's got the like the the patterns on him and stuff. But he's a like one of one snake. Because all of the freeway snakes, which are already rare, rare in general, have all yellow markings. And this one has more like gold and orangish, I guess, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, Phoenix is Phoenix is like my new my new love. <laughs> okay, he's so sweet. So I know some people don't like snakes, which it's fine, but. Um, I've been opening like a lot of people. I opened up my mom's snakes actually. She was like, "Oh, this one's not bad." Little does she know, my snakes are little devils. No, I'm just kidding. He, they're they're actually so sweet. Look at them. Like, couldn't hurt a fly. Look at him. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, but it's not even that. I just like animals. And also, snakes are really fucking calm. So, they calm me down because I have anxiety. So, sick. Uh, what was it like filming the Downfalls High video movie and working with MGK besides cutting off your ear? What was the most interesting, funniest part of your role? Cutting off my ear was the funniest part of my role. I actually know it was the most scary because not only did I not act, but on my first day of acting, they made me slice my ear off in a scene and they tied a blood tube to come right here and squirt blood and get all of my clothes. So I couldn't refilm that. It was going to get sticky and disgusting and gross. And it did. It got, it was terrible. But, um, yeah, that shit was hilarious. And once it was over and they told me it was good, I'm like, thank God thank God our one our one take turned out amazing because wouldn't have been able to do it again. Um But yeah, no, they're actually the, the sickest directors modern MGK were. And like it was a great experience. Um What's your favorite song right now, Jaden Ness? Um, my favorite song right now. <laughs> uh, I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, I'll probably say "I Heard You Married." Now I think it's what it's called. Uh, the new weekend song. That song's fire. Fire as hell. But yeah, the weekends. The Weeknd's like my number one most streamed artist. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, what's the most meaningful lyric you put into a song? What's the most fun one? Um, I feel like the most fun lyric I ever wrote was fucking up is too much fun. Because it is. <laughs> fucking up is hilarious. Um... Like, being, like, uh, like the kid energy of Party Crasher mixed with the adult, like, reckless energy, I think it's really good. But, like, the fucking up is too much fun is, like, such a staple, especially as a, um, it's an ad lib. So, and, but it stands out like a motherfucker. And my most meaningful lyric, 
Um, psh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> what is my most meaningful lyric? I'll let I'll leave you guys to decide that answer. What's your guys' favorite lyric of mine? Got me in a headlock that I can't escape. It's a good one. Uh, would you consider releasing an acoustic version of Lost Without You? Probably not as a release, but I think Lost Without You would be like a really fun song to um, sing on stage as an acoustic. I think that could, that could be cool. More like an experience thing than like an actual released thing. But yeah, yeah, probably like probably like a stage stage moment. <laughs> mm. Mia asked me what is your favorite instrument? My favorite instrument is probably uh, probably drums. Drums is the most fun and the most catchy part of a song, in my opinion. I, I, I'm I always constantly like, you know, like just smacking my legs, just, just drum beats all day. And like matching the drum beats for my songs. I love learning them. Um, but... Yeah, probably drums. Or, like, violin's a really interesting instrument. Do you guys have any questions for me? Oh, shit. Yeah, you guys do have questions. Um, so, if you guys want to ask me anything, I'm going to be doing another live stream. Like, God knows when. But if you guys want to ask me questions on my Patreon, I'm going to be answering them. Who's your favorite artist, music-wise? Um, well, yeah, I mean, The weekend for sure. But I, I like a bunch of different types of artists. I'm a really big, big uh, Suicide Boys fan. Um, I'm a really big fan of... Um, of Kells. I'm a big fan of... Um, Paramore, and a big fan of like a bunch of rap artists, a bunch of people in the hip hop. So it's just kind of all across the board. But yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys are well, man. Miss talking to you guys. Chase, what shampoo do you use? <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I just know it's purple, so it's cool. It helps keep your, your hair dye and longer, which is dope. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to answer one last question before I go. Um, okay, Shay asked me, do you take vocal or song writing lessons? I take vocal lessons with uh, a teacher who's really nice. His name's Eric Vitro. But yeah, he's, he's such a sick guy. And um, I don't take like writing lessons. I just kind of write when I'm in the studio with uh, other writers. And... Um, yeah, that that's just, it's like almost like a writing lesson in a way, like you're learning how to write through other people, um, and through how they write things or they come up with melodies. So it's always interesting to work with new people and, um, yeah. All right, shit, this is going to be it for this live stream, but... Tweet me 
And uh, go to my Patreon if you guys want to ask me some questions. Patreon.com slash Huddy <laughs> is, my, is my info. I hope you guys have a, a grand rest of your day. Um, yeah, man. Peace. It's love. Mm.